Lockdown by Kanye West. Okay. How many of you guys saw the Miley Cyrus pictures in the Vanity Fair magazine? Okay. How many of you were alive in 2008? All right. That should be everyone. Okay. <laughs> After reading way too many interviews and watching way too much TV, I can now easily inform you on the pop culture of 2008. First, we'll start off with the big screen. The top five movies of 2008. Number five was Wally, starring Ben Burtt and Elisa Knight. This movie is all about the future. The earth has become un uninhabitable and has become full of trash. The only trash bot left, Wally, comes in contact with a space bot named Eve. Together, the two work together and make the earth a better place to live. Coming in at number four was Hancock, starring Will Smith and Charlize Theron as Mary Embry. Will Smith was Hancock, of course. When is he not a lead character? This is all about a superhero who is very unpredictable and very unreliable. He ends up getting in a relationship with the man who's trying to fix his image, his wife. Not exactly the best idea. <laughs> Number three was Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, starring Harrison Ford and Shia LaBeouf. This time, Dr. Henry Indiana Jones, our favorite archaeologist, becomes tangled in a Soviet plan to uncover the secret behind the artifact of the Crystal Skull. Coming in at number two was Iron Man, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Gwyneth Paltrow. This is all about a man who can build anything. He builds a suit that not only helps him stay alive, but can fly and help him fight off all the bad guys. Number one was The Dark Knight, starring the infamous Heath Ledger, Aaron Eckhart, and Christian Bale. This, again, is about another superhero. It's all about the city of Gotham. This one has to do with the infamous villain, the Joker, and our good friend, Two-Face. Now, you can't have movies without celebrities, am I right? The top celebrities of 2008. Number 10 was Miley Cyrus, starring in her hit TV series Hannah Montana and was recently in a movie named Bolt. Number 9 was Will Smith, starring in Hancock and Seven Pounds. Number 8 was Kristen Stewart, who just made her big outbreak in the movie Twilight. Number 7 was Megan Fox. She wasn't in any movies in 2008, but Transformers was always a big hit. Number 6 was Shia LaBeouf. He was starring in Indiana Jones and also Transformers. Number five was Angelina Jolie, who was in Wanted, an amazing movie, and The Changelet. And whenever there's Angelina Jolie, you know there's Brad Pitt. Coming in at number four, he was starring in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Number three was Heath Ledger, and his infamous, infamous role as the Joker in The Dark Knight. Number two was his co-worker, Christian Bale, who started Batman in The Dark Knight. And number one is America's heartthrob, Johnny Depp who was in Pirates of the Caribbean number one, two, and three. Now, not that movies aren't important, but everyone needs a few, music, a few musicals in their life. The number top 10 songs of 2008. Number 10 was Going On by Narles Barkley. Number nine was Rock Fairy by Duffy. Number eight was Time to Pretend by MGMT. Number seven was Single Ladies by Beyonce. Number six was Burning Up by the Jonas Brothers. Number five was Fleet Foxes by White Winter Hymnal. Number four was Amelie by Lil Wayne, who also had the number one album of 2008. Number three was Oh My God by Adina Maria. Number two was So What by Pink. And the number one song of 2008 was Love Lockdown by Kanye West. Now, we all know we have some sneaky politicians in our government. The top scandals of 2008. Number three was Miley Cyrus, who appeared in the June issue of Vanity Fair in not the best sort of picture for a 15 year old. She has millions of little girls looking up to her and uh, this isn't exactly what her fans had in mind. Number two was the American international group Post Spa Bailout. They got about $85 billion and hey, why not go get a spa? Well, ended up costing about $400,000 and immediately after they came back, they went to the Congress begging them for more money. Oops. The number one was Elliot Spitzer, who was the New York governor. He ended up getting a little bored. Hey, why not call a hooker? A <laughs> thousand dollar an hour call girl who was called upon numerous times named Ashley Dupree. Right after he was caught, he immediately, re he immediately resigned because who really wants to be known as the guy who called on a hooker? <laughs> 
with you knowing the top five movies, the top ten celebrities, the top ten songs, and your generation scandals, I hope not that you can go out and win that Trivial Pursuit pop culture edition game.